huge congratulations uh, by now I've seen it twice. Uh, the second time I did like space it out a little bit. So, and there's a little bit of a difference there. Um, I want to start asking Sandra, I talked to Jorge about uh, boys in King Tech and, 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 and standing with all of these legends, but how was it for you uh, joining into the cast and, and, and your experience with it? You mean drawing or voicing? No, no, voicing. Oh my gosh, it was so surreal, you know, like it was uh, a little intimidating because we did both English and Spanish and uh, it's kind of like a mind meld because you have to like really figure out what, what you're going to say and whether the accent is going to come through or not and uh, finally seeing it on the screen it's it's like it's really trippy. And I had to trick you. And he had to trick me too because originally <laughs> it was supposed to be scratch and and he was like don't worry don't worry we'll get back to it but then i began to see all of like like the actual episodes being edited towards the end and i was still in it and i was like when are you gonna get queen Tekka? and he was like oh i don't know and then by the end of it i was there i was so, like you drop your crown queen <laughs> um well from basic on, on, on that conversation how, how was working together on the on on, on the show um especially after uh, having worked together on, on projects before, how, how has that dynamic changed over the years? I think it was smooth. It Honestly, was like Jorge would love to say that there was a lot of drama, but it was so smooth. <laughs> I'm not, he's such a drama queen, I swear. No, but we've been working together for so long. I think that we have a really nice repertoire going now. And, and, and we learn like what we're both good at and yeah. what we're both- Our strengths and weaknesses. And weaknesses. And you know, we've been working together for 20 years and we've never not worked together so it's mm. we say we dance really well together now all we have to do is chop off certain toes yeah and now it's a lot smooth. of alcohol yeah <laughs> um i am fascinated by the the character designs in in, in, in maya um can you talk a bit about uh, of coming up with those designs and all the different uh the the, the shapes the noses the mouths Oh, well, when it comes to our design style, I think that Jorge is a little more organic. I'm a little, I'm a little more... Elegant, I would say. Would you say it was elegant? Yeah. yeah. So that's, again, like when we work together, that's how we help each other reciprocally. Reciprocally. Yeah, is that a word? Reciprocate. Yeah. yeah, because you give me like, like tips on how to make my stuff a little more organic and flowy. And when you, Jorge tends to go a little too crazy with his designs. I mean, there's a character <laughs> called Miklan, Miklan, and how many skulls are there? 666 skulls are on Yeah, there. sometimes he needs to pull wow. back a little. Yeah, so. Well, and, and, you know, the other thing that we learned is you want to make something beautiful, you put something ugly next to it, just like Beauty and the Beast. Like, we use the contrast. And so we, we tend to design together, mm -hmm. and we tend to, I mean, we love toys, of course. Yeah. So we tend to design things to look <laughs> like figures that we want we want to get made so we can have them. Oh, yeah. All this movie stuff is just an excuse yes, to buy no, toys. Yes, we need toys. More toys. Right. Um, Gabriel actually talked to me like uh, he, he said that the one thing he wanted to add to his character was uh, a merchandise deal um, for Pichu. So like, the, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I wish there were toys. I'm I wish dying. it was a Pichu I'm toy. I'm dying to make toys. Seriously. <laughs> um, Jorge, when, when you were crafting the world and, 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 and the characters that you wanted to bring in, how closely, if at all, do you want to stick to what was already from like mythology and from Mesoamerican mythology versus well, creating your I, own version? I, I wanted to be very respectful. So I did a ton of research, but then at the same time, I wanted to do a cover, right? I wanted to do my version, my fantasy version of it. So just like Book of Life was my fantasy version of Day of the Dead, this was my fantasy version of Mesoamerica and Caribbean cultures, and of course the Incan. But at the same time, I wanted for people who know this stuff to go, oh, look, he's referencing this legend. He's referencing this design. That God is based on this God. Like there's a bazillion layers to everything we made. And I really think for me, at least, the way I research things gives me ideas. And then I try to make a lasagna of layers of, of information <laughs> And, you know, there's references to Street Fighter and Ninja Scroll mm -hmm. and Akira and all these movies that I love and Mesoamerica. And I think that's what we do in Latin America. Yeah. We take things from all over the world and we reconceive them as our own. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of, you mentioned the, the references and not only do you reference 
all of these pop culture icons, but you reference your own stuff. Uh, I saw a bit of El Tigre and, and, and Book of Life. Uh, how was that? And are you creating your own little multiverse here? It's kind of crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Sa Sandra calls it the Jorge-verse. Yeah, I, it and, is. Uh, it's like sometimes I'll be talking to me about something and I was like, didn't I see that in that other project? Are you going to use that now? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, well, why not? They, I mean, they all exist. It all comes from my head. So of course they're in the same universe. Mm -hmm. And I, I would love for I characters. Guess why not, right? Yeah, I would love for characters from all these worlds to meet one day because they certainly meet in my head. So <laughs> crazy. That would be a crazy story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um when you're looking uh when you when you look at the final product for the first time, what was the thing that you that most surprised you that you weren't exactly sure it was gonna work, but then you saw it, you're like, yeah, it works now. You know? Not, for me, it was, ow, my God, it works <laughs> as a whole, because it's so detailed and so fast paced, you know, that everything, it's like a, a symphony that came together in the end. There was the music, the visuals, the lighting, the backgrounds, everything. And in the end, it was just all tied up in this perfect package. Yeah, I, I will admit early on, people were saying, hey, this is really weird and complex. And these characters are really busy. And the stories are, there's like a lot of drama but a lot of comedy like is this all gonna work and i would have to stand there and be like a hundred percent is gonna work and then i would go to my office close the door right. and be like i hope it works <laughs> it better work um lastly uh i, I want to ask jorge um you mentioned the, the the balance and the humor and the drama but there's also some really dark stuff here um property that's primarily aimed at, 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 at an all-encompassing audience. Um, how do you balance that? And how much do you want to like sort of push that boundary in a way? Well, I mean, I, I love animation and I love the medium. And so if you go back to Bambi and you go back to, you know, uh, Finding Nemo, it's a lot of tragedy that happens in those movies. <laughs> Dude, Lion, King. Uh, Lion King. And so it's part of our okay. tradition in fairy tales to have darkness, to, to basically contrast the light mm -hmm. and in all stories you can't have joy without sadness exactly and so we gotta we gotta be able to paint with all those colors mm. awesome thank you so much pleasure talking to you again and huge congratulations thank Rafael, you, Rafael. thank you thank you thank you thank you're you so you're, awesome. the, you're, the, you're the only person i know who's seen it twice though why <laughs> you should get a prize well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, and, and I'm probably going to see it again when it comes out and it starts showing it to people. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, hey, you you got to watch it in Spanish. In Spanish, it's like... I, like that's my it next time. That's my next time, for yeah. sure. I Thank you. Bye. Bye. Sure, bye.